Something independent artists work towards is getting commissions and drawing for other people. I'm on the same boat. No one's actually commissioned me yet except <coughs> scams. But I did have some experience back when I was in first grade. <coughs> okay, okay, um, let's be for real. It was embarrassing. I was already labeled an art kid then, so art classmates were always asking me for help in art assignments. Um, honestly, I didn't mind it. I liked taking requests. I took pride in being an art kid. Little me was a brat who was sucking up all the attention. One day though, I told everyone, if you want me to draw you something, you have to pay me one piso. One piso isn't actually a lot, but I remembered at that school you could buy really cheap snacks. Or, well, candy, but they were practically the same to me back then. Little me was greedy and proudly told my mom about it. When she heard about my art business, she turned to face me with a horrified expression. Piso lang! Dapat five pesos! I only remembered one commission I did, but according to my mom, I'd actually been getting paid for a while already. In my previous school, I was getting paid a dollar for every drawing I did, and seeing the exchange rate, I kinda get why she was horrified. I cracked up when she told me that part of the story though, cause you'd think she'd be more concerned about me exploiting my classmates, but nah. Anyway. Lil Me took what she said in stride and started charging everyone 5 pesos. I guess no harm's done since that was like, what, 10 years ago? A thought that haunts me to this day though was this particular commission. My cousin went to the same school and being the best cousin she is, she told her friends about me and my mini business. There was this guy that came up to me and asked for 4 drawings. I can't remember if this was before or after my price change, so he either paid me 4 pesos or 20 pesos. I asked, of what? Draw me pregnant. Draw me. I, I don't, I didn't know how to draw real life people. I didn't know how to draw boys. Also, Lil Mei had no idea how to draw the same subject in different ways, if that makes sense. Like, anatomy and perspective didn't exist to me at the time, so people would usually just get drawings of different characters in the same pose and background. But I can't th just do that to him. It'd practically be charging him four times for the same drawing. He's a senior in fourth grade. He's my cousin's classmate. I ship him with her. How is their love gonna blossom if I am associated badly with her? Man, your cousin drew me like poop. I don't love you. <gasps> so I did the only thing I could think of. Hmm? You're done? That was fast. Um, what's this? It's you. In, um, your four stages of life. I drew him as a baby, as a toddler, as he currently was, a fourth grader, and as an adult. Married to my cousin. Thank you so much for watching my first ever story time animation. Or, well, I guess it's more of an animatic. I actually planned on making some other story my first, but this came up as a topic in conversation when, ta when chatting with my mom, and she told me a bunch of context I've long since forgotten. So thank you, mama. I'll probably rely on you for any more stories from when I was really young.